Hello viewers. Apple has released iPadOS 18.4.1. Many users were actually facing battery issues and many other issues. So Apple has pushed this update. I think this update will fix the bugs that users were experiencing in their iPads. This is a very small update. Before updating to the latest version, let me show you the storage scenario as you can see here. Here you can see iPadOS is actually 11.18 GB and system data is around 6.72 GB. This update scenario will change after I will install the latest version. Finally, I have updated to the latest version that is iPadOS 18.4.1 and in the storage scenario you can see that storage has increased a lot and if I go down into iPadOS you can see that iPadOS is 11.18 GB and system data is around 6.84 GB. The first thing that I did I played some YouTube videos and HDR videos and you can see that there is no screen flickering issue after this update so you can definitely update if you are afraid about screen flickering so there is no screen flickering actually. In the lock screen and wallpaper section also there is no new wallpapers that have been added all the wallpapers were previously available so in terms of customization or new features you are getting nothing i also tested the performance of eye pencil this is a third party eye pencil that i am using on this ipad 10 generation and after the latest update there is no issue using this eye pencil some users actually want to know about the performance of this king one eye pencil on scribble feature yes this supports scribble you can use scribble feature using this eye pencil Apple has actually given you a demo how you can use in this way you can write anything on the note app or any other area and it will convert into text. So this is a very good feature here you can delete things like this. After that if you want to select anything you can also do that by going into select in this way you can circle or you can draw a line and you can select that text though i don't use this feature much but many users actually use this feature so for those users this is a very handy feature of scribble you can make use of this feature in notes app whatever you will write on the screen it will transform it into text but before that you have to select the scribble feature this is a scribble feature now if i write anything it will convert into text as you can see here you have to use these features for a couple of days to get used to otherwise you will feel problems while writing and while using this feature on notes app as you can see here in this way you can transform your writing into text and also you can delete you can select anything suppose i want to decrease the gap between words and in this way i can delete things also many users actually want to know about the best eye pencil alternative i am using this king one pencil and it is a very good pencil the battery backup of this pencil is really impressive so if you want to buy this pencil links are in the description below also you can consider amazon basics or esr pencil or digiroot pencils all the links will be provided in the descriptions you can check out those links so finally in the conclusion should you update to the latest version of ipad os 18.4.1 look if you are not facing any issues in your existing version in that case you would need not update to the latest version and if your ipad is out of warranty in that case also you should skip this update otherwise this is a very good update you can update to the latest version and if you are facing any kind of battery issues in that case you can consider updating to the latest version because this update may fix your battery issues or any other bugs that you are encountering in your existing update Hope this video has become informative to you. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button, share this video and subscribe the channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.